Hey, what's up everybody? It's T Squared here at MLG Dallas 2012 Fall Championships. I'm here with the lead designer from 343, Kevin Franklin. Kevin, what do you think of your first MLG? Uh, second MLG. I was oh, like, second MLG, sorry. This is the first MLG with Halo, and it has been absolutely fantastic. Um, I've been blown away by the talent out here, and uh, we've been tweeting about it. I'm here with uh, Doug and Will, also from 343, and we cannot get over how well players are playing and what they're doing to the game, and uh, how the settings are really going over, too, and seeing people run the flag. I've, it's been a blast. I can't wait. One more day, too. Now, you guys just released the ranking system information. Can you tell me a little bit more about that? Absolutely. So it's called Competitive Skill Rank. And it's actually going to be running in the background from launch day. But we're going to be collecting as much information as we possibly can on it and uh, really testing it and tuning it to get it perfect for when it launches. It's going to launch sometime in 2013. And it's going to drop with hopefully a new uh, matchmaking playlist that's like really tuned for uh, the skill requirements. And we take the skill integrity really seriously. Um, I wrote a whole blog post on it with uh, BS Angel of Frank on uh, waypoint.com if you want to read more. All right, everyone check that out at waypoint.com. And also, what are you most impressed with, impressed with here? Because you made this game, man. You put in three years of blood, sweat, and tears. Yeah. Are you surprised to see some of the strategies coming out here? What's the craziest thing you've seen so far? Uh, I've seen a lot of ordnance drops. It's something I always like really hope that someone's going to drop a weapon for their team. And uh, I was watching another game. He had He's holding rockets, and he drops the saw for his teammate. And then they just go on an offensive. And the game was so tied, and that was really the deal breaker. Um, so I'm loving watching those happen because it's kind of like, oh, yeah, I really wanted that. Um, and that's coming to life. Um, with the talent these guys are having, I mean, we're, it's a much faster game than we're used to. Um, and we're just really impressed. Uh, CTF is also going over really well. Yes. Um, but I think the most important and biggest reaction is the fans. Like, I'm getting all sorts of positive feedback. People are loving the game. And uh, it's just great to feel he here because that's for them. Yeah. And now I've been talking to a lot of the pro players. I haven't seen one pro player rate Halo on a scale of 1 to 10 less than a 9. So let's talk about Capture the Flag a little bit because that is something that is brand new. Do you think that the reception here has been great for the Capture the Flag since you can't drop the flag? I mean, I haven't heard the complaints in person yet. I mean, they may still be out there, but I mean, so far everyone I've talked to or asked um, has had positive things to say. And we're really seeing the teams sort of get together and escort their flag carrier, which was the hugest intention. Plus, we saw the first uh, uh, snipe down had the first uh, uh, extermination in CTF I've ever seen yes. yesterday. So it's really exciting like seeing those awesome events come to life. Now, what was your intention to have people not be able to drop the flag and to make that decision to have the pistol in there? You know, we wanted to be able to protect yourself, move quickly. Uh, we want the flight carrier to be a badass was sort of one of our first goals. But then it really did, it turned into wherever that flag is, you become an objective. So it's a much more solid experience to like hold on to that flag and now your job is to deliver. And we really think we've executed with the new CTF. And it was only one of the changes, because we also had all the rule changes. We have the new, um, the new HUD is, the UI is redesigned. Uh, we put in new sound effects, we have new medals, personal scoring, and uh, the pacing. Everything kind of came together to create an all new CTF experience. Now, have you seen anything that you thought maybe is a little too overpowering? Is there anything that you guys are thinking about tweaking after watching this tournament? Uh, honestly, I think it's still too early. Uh, we were having a good discussion yesterday about the light rifle and uh, the, um, the Covenant Carbine. Because uh, one of our little tips is the Covenant Carbine is actually one of the fastest to kill weapons. Yes, yes. It will kill insanely quickly, but we can't find a player yet who's mastered it uh, to get that speed of speed of kill. So I'm, I think um, people are going to jump on in November 6th, and we're going to see people like start adapting these strategies, start learning the weapons. And maybe you know if we have to look at something, we definitely will. We're keeping our eyes open, but nothing too OP yet. And Halo's all about balance, and that's the one thing that I've really noticed is you can go into any situation with any gun, and it's all situational. Can you talk about a little bit about your intentions there on how to balance Halo 4? Uh, definitely. I mean, balance was like, end of the day, one of our most important goals. And I got to give a huge shout out to our sandbox team and uh, Chris King in particular, who really drove the weapon balance, not only in campaign, but also in multiplayer. And this really helped us, uh, you know, get that feel absolutely perfectly. So for everything from how many needles or the speed of the weapons, which the weapons go, um, but the biggest thing is, you, everything, every, in the big picture, everything had to be rebalanced. And and that's why it's, you know, it's not like the Halo 2 battle rifle or the, you know, the Halo 3 Magnum. It really is, everything's becoming the Halo 4 version. Um, and that's what our main goal was in the sandbox balance, and I'm really glad we hit it. Now, we were talking a little bit earlier off camera, saying how you guys learned a lot from Halo Reach. Can you talk a little bit about that, what you guys learned, and how you applied that to Halo 4? Definitely. Uh, I think two big things, sprint and armor abilities. These are the first time we saw them like in a big way, and Reach kind of really let us learn a lot about how these things interacted with the sandbox. And we took those lessons and we put them directly into Halo 4. Um, and we really were careful what armor abilities we added, what did we like about the other ones, what, did we didn't, what, what, what we thought could be improved upon, and how sprint mixes into it. 
And Sprint, I mean, that really changed everything. It changed the way that guns work, it changed the way you move. Another one of our tips we've been finding today is the players that don't sprint too much are having a nice advantage when they get the jump on people, especially in SWAT. And that's because when you sprint and you come out of sprint, it takes a little split second to come out of that and get into that action of showing your reticle. Is that something that you had a little bit of uh, input on? <laughs> it was definitely, the whole team did actually. It was, we play tested so much and uh, you know, you hear the feedback when things aren't working, when things are working, and that we, we did put a lot of attention to. Uh, another similar one is when you pick up that flag, that transition for when you get the flag in your hand, the magnum in the other. We put so much work to get that just right because we know how important it is to get you back in the action. And at the end of the day, the game is about the mechanics. And hearing a pro player tell us how clean it's feeling or how fast it's feeling or fluid or like how well the weapons are working is like the best compliment of all because that is the number one goal underlying all the modes and everything is how well the mechanics are. That's right. The game looks amazing, but wait until you play it. It's an absolutely refreshing feeling, a thousand times better than Halo Reach in my opinion. So the question that everybody from MLG probably wants to know. Can we expect to see you or anyone else from 343 getting into the tournament scene next year and kind of overlooking everything? Uh, we're definitely going to be paying as much attention as we can. We Will, Doug and I especially, are like tournament nuts. So uh, I know Will was telling me the other night, he's, he watches an hour and a half of competitive gaming every night before he goes to bed. Uh, and you know, it's just because it, we have the same passion you guys do in so many ways. Uh, I don't know if we're allowed to compete. If we, if there's an exhibition match, we're definitely going to jump on. I know I saw those two yesterday in SWAT. Uh, I'm not going to say how they did, but it was good. <laughs> All right, well, you'll be on my team, man. We'll kick some serious butt. All right, Kevin, thanks so much, man. And I hope everyone is enjoying Halo 4 as much as I am. For more, be sure to go to www.gamespot.com slash esports. We're out, guys. Later. He's moving around the map. This is pretty much over. Yeah, I mean, he's... he's <laughs> pulling a T2 with the Rockets and Sniper. The thing is, he has to have his teammates back there to help him out because he doesn't...